Hey there, Pete with Trapster. I'm holding a AT&T Tilt. Uh, it's a new phone. It uh, tilts like this. It's got a keyboard. It's got GPS and Wi-Fi in it. So, uh, right now it's in GPS mode as you can tell I'm indoors and uh, so we're getting a lat long as zero. And uh, But I'm going to put it in this new thing called wireless positioning mode. One of the reasons I ported this app to uh, Windows Mobile um, is uh, the Java apps cannot support this uh, WPS. In order to use the WPS you have to have um, Wi-Fi enabled. Furthermore, since you're not going to be actually connecting to any of these, you need to have a connection to a 3G um, or other network. Um, so we're going to be sniffing wireless and we're actually be connected to the 3G on this one. And I'll show you the difference between um, where this WPS thinks it is and where GPS thinks it is. Um, but uh, they're really pretty close. Um, certainly close enough for use for something like traps. Okay, so now we see two alerts. So uh, we're going to go outside now and uh, we'll put this in GPS mode since I can't get a GPS fix here inside and we'll see how the two reports compare. And before I forget, we need to actually put this into GPS mode. Location fix is going to go from a valid number to zero until it actually gets the GPS fix. There we go, now we're zeroed out, so outside we go. The cool things about these um, Windows mobile phones and Blackberries and so forth is they can run background apps, which is pretty much critical to, to Trapster. Um, Sprint CDMA flip phones, other things like that, really need you to run your LBS apps or any custom apps in the foreground. It makes it impossible to do things like email and, uh, and run one of these at the same time. Um, this one here you could run, you know, like Telenav and Trapster at the same time. Uh, in fact, it can, uh, Windows Mobile 5 and on can handle multiple access to the GPS, what's called the intermediate driver, but basically two apps can get the information at the same time. I'm actually looking out my backyard right now, and the location where it's going to say um, we are uh, from the wireless is actually down there, so um, that's where it's picking up uh, these access points. Traps your menu right here, and I'm going to go ahead and report a bogus trap of police off and hide here. Uh, and then I'll just go ahead and delete it out of the system. Now we're getting um, this uh, live police trap that I reported a while ago. He's off and hide here trap that I just put in. So let's see where those show up on the map. Trap up the top is, you know, this one's kind of fuzzy. That's the police off and hide here, which is the one that I just entered in the backyard uh, that was using the GPS. The one down below using the wireless positioning system. The, these are definitely close enough where uh, they both would be accurate enough for Trapster. I just thought it was interesting to see. Um, you know where, where the difference in in the two, and and really the relative accuracy of this wireless positioning system. Somebody had to drive around with a truck, and literally sniff these wireless SSIDs to make this thing work, and uh, it's actually worked pretty darn well. So let's see it in action. In order to test the system, we need to get out on the road, and we will use this card. Signed up for the SMS alert feature too, just wanted to show you that. Um, basically this is a report I got. Uh, this only happens for the live reports, but uh, in case you're not running Trapster, um, this can alert you that it might be a good time to turn it on. Okay, so now we're back in the car here and we get this thing beeping with our two alerts that we saw before. Um, and I've got a Valentine 1 radar detector, so we're going to have stuff beeping all over the place here. But uh, let's get going. I'm just going to set this right here in the car. This is the intended use. You're not really looking at it when you're driving around. Bad idea. Oh, sweet. Now, um, as you can see, we're, uh, or as you can hear, I should say, we're in a pretty darn loud car. We've got a helicopter flying overhead, and uh, the phone's just sitting right down there. And, um, I can still hear it just fine, ringing away. Can you hear it? Now I've driven less than a block and we can see that I've got two new wireless networks and um, I have got a different lat long coordinate. I'm still getting the two same um, traps though because we're in the same alert radius. Okay, here we're showing a fix, no alerts. In range of this uh, red light camera up here, uh, so, the Sony camera's DOA, the battery's out, and I was a little discouraged until I realized that this very Sult is also a camera and video camera, so we continue our journey, and if you uh, listen to the background, there's a beep, 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 so um, that's actually, uh, this camera's on beeping, and really, uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you was the culprit here of this beep. So there he goes right there. Look at that sucker.
And uh, if you're in a flurry, I guess you got to do one of these every time. Okay, better calm down or I'm going to be in the traps here. Take it easy, speed for traps or sign it off.